Hey folks, uh, it's been a while since I did the uh, last video. Unfortunately, I guess nobody likes my videos because I had no likes, very few views, and uh, it kind of takes away the motivation to uh, knock these videos out. Anyhow, right now I'm at the stage where uh, I've made the wing molds, I've made a set of wings, I'm putting the frames inside and all the rest of it. But anyhow, we, let's uh, back up and get you back to uh, building this uh, set of wings. So uh, this video is going to cover adding scale details uh, to the wing plug, uh, readying it to do the mold. So uh, let's get cracking. And if you like this video, please just push the like button. It helps uh, get some more views and hopefully some subscribers. Uh, otherwise, it's kind of like, why bother making these videos? <laughs> but I'll continue. Thanks. So the panel lines are done. Uh, the wings been sanded and prepped. And uh, I made the mask using Fusion 360, which you can see in the image. I just lay the, the rivet details over the uh, three view drawing, which was to scale in the uh, application. And then I laser cut them out. So I've attached the mask to the wing plug and uh, I've sprayed them with several coats of the uh, auto primer uh, as previous video. So I'm not going to go into that and show it all over again. And uh, it came out absolutely fabulous. So now it's time to add all the uh, scale panels, access panels, uh, other goodies, and let's get to it. All right, now I'm uh, applying the uh, access panels. I guess these are to service the uh, flap hinges here. So I'm using uh, E6000. It's working great found the best way is just use your finger spread it around that's why I have the masking tape on the back side of it so I don't get it on the wing as much or as little as possible anyhow so I just do this put a blob just next to it so I don't have to pick up the tube again make sure I get the edges and then we got to just roll it over there we go just like that and we wipe our fingers off. Some masking tape. Put it over the entire part. Rub the crap out of it. Just rub that one. And then what I do is I rub my fingernail around the perimeter so it defines the part like that and then I take a pencil or if you don't have the pencil use another tool and just gently come around and push the masking tape between the edge and the wing not too heavy that you damage the wing and then make sure it's rubbed down the reason I do that is because when you push it down, you inevitably squeeze a little bit of uh, the goop out, and that's good. But by doing this, the masking tape, once the, the uh, glue dries, the masking tape will actually pull most of it off, so it minimizes the cleaning you have to do. The other thing I've done is I use the tape here and create a hinge once I've aligned everything. So as you can see, like that one, it just works beautifully. And this glue is fabulous. Best thing, I'm going to use it for canopy glue from now on. Instead of using the expensive ABS uh, plastic sheets from the hobby shop, what I do is I go to just a local hardware store and I buy those uh, for sale signs and, uh, you know, keep the dog out and all that kind of stuff. And it's about uh, point zero two inches uh, thick and uh, it's just the perfect size for what I'm wanting to use. Now I'm just sanding the paint off the back and I do this by putting the uh, part onto a double-sided piece of tape. It stops it slipping and allows you to sand it perfectly. And this flattens out the back side ready for glue. 
So I now have the uh, top and bottom uh, details of uh, both wings done. So the plugs are pretty much at this point complete. Uh, just need waxing and prepping and uh, you'll see a little sneaker there in the video that there's actually a parting plane around this. So anyhow, the next video, I'm going to show you how I make the frames to hold the wings, how I do my parting planes and then we should have some stuff on uh, laying up the moulds and uh, how I do those. So, oh, and also claying the moulds, how I uh, clay the moulds. I've got a few tricks for doing that, making life uh, much simpler. Anyhow, I'm real pleased with the way the details have come out. I've put about 95% of the wing detail from the actual uh, full-size plane on the wings. Uh, as far as rivets on the bottom, I didn't do much in the rivet side. Uh, it just gets a bit monotonous and just um, just becomes a pain in the ass. So anyhow, we're done. The next one is going to be a great uh, video. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Please uh, like, subscribe and uh, leave any comments. And if you hate my videos, please tell me. I'd love to change uh, to make them better. Thank you very much. Bye bye.